Hi, my name is Donna Khalil. I'm a python hunter for South Florida Water Management District. I started hunting pythons professionally in March 2017. I knew that there was a need to have hunters out here removing pythons from the environment to uh, help our native species, being that pythons are eating everything that uh, moves out here. My name is Mike Kirkland, and I'm an invasive animal biologist for the South Florida Water Management District and I manage our python elimination program. Donna was our, our only um, female hunter now. We have three female hunters. Today I have a wonderful hunter with me, Amy Siwi, and uh, she's gonna be up there spotting too. She's a contractor as well. I lived in Indiana in the Midwest for my whole life, and I learned that there was a python problem down here, and so I came to investigate, and Donna, Khalil took me on, on a volunteer trip and she caught a python and I was hooked. We're out here on, uh, out here um, in the Everglades looking for uh, pythons that are gonna come up hopefully to us and uh, we'll be able to catch them and remove them from the environment. They're very popular pets to own and uh, through uh, both accidental and intentional releases, uh, these things were able to get out into the wild, and because of South Florida's subtropical environment, which is a very similar environment to their native range in Southeast Asia, this species is able to thrive and reproduce. It's not the snake's fault that they're here, but they really, really do have to go. The reason why we have to get rid of these invasive species is because they're eating up all the animals, that, the, the native animals that are down here. All of the rabbits, all of the possums, all of the raccoons, they're all gone. They're basically, they've all been eaten um, by these pythons. And uh, Everglades National Park has less than 2% of these uh, of mammals left. And the pythons have now moved on to, uh, to eating birds and alligators. Hang on, hang on. on this hypothetical chart, it shows um, you know, over 100 animals that it would take to, to uh, reach 13 feet long in just a period of five years. Every python that we remove makes a positive difference to the native species that live here. We have a sister program out there with a partnering agency, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. So if you put both programs together, uh, since spring of 2017, we've collectively caught uh, well over 6,000 pythons which is a staggering number and, and more than any other management effort has, has ever brought out before. So that kind of tells us that the, the population out there, though we don't know exactly what it is, it is obviously very high. I had to walk into the water and I couldn't see most of the snake. I literally only saw about a foot of it when I spotted it. And, uh, you know, managed to, uh, get my hand in the water before it moved and I was able to grab it by the head before it before it took off. And that was a real tricky catch and a tricky spot too, but um, managed to get it, bag it, and get it out of the Everglades. They're very, very tenacious animals. They're survivors and that's, um, and they're very hard to detect and so in the, in the wild. So that's um, all problems, uh, all obstacles for us. Um, and trying to manage the species. Because it's a big snake. Uh, it goes in the bag, that goes in first, that goes in second, that closes up, and we got a python. <laughs> it's always good when you go home with something in the bag. <laughs>